On the Oscar front, is he healing well? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's going to take some time still, so it's, I want to say he's very close. I suggested in the paper that perhaps uh, if you were going to bring somebody in, you perhaps would have done it by now. Uh, I, I know you'll be keeping an eye on things, but as things stand at the moment, are you more likely to persevere with the excellent mats and, uh, and the backups? I think right now that's probably our, our, our main objective. Um, we, we, we don't have a ton of midweek games right now, so I think we can make our way through this period unless you know we were to have another injury, obviously. But Matt's played outstanding as well, so it's, it's he's just kind of taking the reins here. Seems to just sort of um, he seems to be reveling in the opportunity. Yeah, I mean he came in knowing that you know it was going to be a earn your spot and he, I think he actually did that the way he played early on in, in camp anyway with or without the injury I think he's he's proven that he can you know take the net and not give it up for a while um, so it's you know Oscar's been on the ice every day I mean, he's limited for sure with what he can do um, because of the injury but definitely he'll be chomped as a bit, a bit one, once he's healthy to get back in there too. You've never sort of pigeonholed Matt as a number two, have you? No, not from day one. I, this was, again, I'm a firm believer in competitive culture within our group, and, and you know, especially at the goalie position. 